Hey yo, what's up Snow Gang? Welcome back to another episode of Tell Me Why. So if you guys uh, watched the first episode, you know the audio was a little messed up, okay? Hopefully everything's alright now. So, this is a story about two twin siblings who have come to their family house 10 years later and uh, to be able to sell it and we're gonna check out their memories. Supposedly they have a really dark past, but uh, we'll have to see that for ourselves later. Oh. Remember how mad she'd get if we didn't use the compost? And she always knew when we were lying. Waste she's a, not, she's a or kiss the planet goodbye. Waste not. Tyler is such a cool guy. Guys, comment please, Tyler is a chud. Okay, a chud. Damn boy, he's fucking thick. Are you sure you want to go in there? This was our very first den, remember? Who knows what lives down there now? Uh, just butterflies and beautiful stuff, you know? Probably. We're gonna play as Ellison now. It's Ellison and Tyler, by the Everything way. Everything okay down there? Tyler? Ah! Ah! Why did it's I get not scared? funny! <laughs> why did I get scared? And why am I laughing? Okay, fine, but you're still an idiot. All right, I'm going in for real this time. Okay, I'll see you at the front door in a few minutes. Minutes? It's gonna take minutes to go to, to the to the door. Damn, my dude. So are we only only gonna play a styler now? I, I bet not. I think I think not. What the fuck am I talking? Ouch! Damn. Are you okay? What happened? <sighs> Just hit my head like an idiot. Are they in a theater? Wait, Is it supposed to make that much noise? Where are you? Ty, I'm outside. But I can hear you in my head. Yeah? Her voice. It's back. It's only oh, when you guys are shit. at the house. Mm. I uh, don't suppose you remember how to get to the hatch. Dragons, straight ahead. Need to go left, I think. Okay, need to go left. Then left again after the goblins. What? Wow, <gasps> can't say I ever expected to see you again. Mr. Moosey! It's been a long time, buddy. I can take him, Oh. Then right after the second goblins. What? Wait, left after the dragons, left again after the goblins. She said left, didn't she? I guess she meant right. Allison, you have to know your directions, okay? Nope, it was on the right. My bad. Yep, I was about to say. Damn. Wait, that was our treasure? It's oh, just trash. Shit. Pink. Aww. It always had to be pink. Pink. Marianne grilled us about all these missing dishes, but a goblin never gives up their treasure. How very cute. Watch out for your head, Tyler. Do you don't want to get a concussion? Pass the treasure. Straight, Straight ahead. ahead. You know, I almost convinced myself. Our voice was just another child of fan the Mad Hunter. The Mad Hunter? Is this, Why am uh... I still afraid to say his name? He was Marianne's creation. Who the hell is Marianne? She made all the creepy characters. What? Marianne? They, she, they keep talking about Marianne. Uh, is this a, a, a Bloodborne boss? There's a collectible there. Oh no, there's a collectible. Fuck. I'm not going uh, on the other side of the game. Fuck that. Come on, man. Ugh, Tyler, you're so buffed, man. Time to explore the house.
Is that their mother? Why, why do I always get phone calls every time I'm recording now? It's like the fifth mo uh, video in a row where someone calls me. Please stop calling me, please. Jesus Christ. Tyler, are you in there? Answer. She's gonna get worried about you. Answer. Tyler. Oh, he has Tommy. green eyes. Just like me. Am I Tyler? Can I speak to... I don't have a sister though. Are you okay? I'll live. Good to hear your voice again. Yeah, same here. So, coming in or what? Relax, boy. Just boy. looking up to it. Relax. Come in, girl. Yeah, this is it. This is my God of War impression. Well, we're here. Here we are. So, how do we get started? We figure out what to keep, what to trash, and see what else this house might be trying to show us. Sure, sounds good enough. Sounds easy. Let's let's go. Now we're gonna take half an hour just exploring the whole house. All right. Let's see. Broken shelf. Broken shelf. Broken jar, and the washing machine, broken. <laughs> the the dryer didn't work to begin with. Too expensive. Tessa? I hated hanging drippy laundry. I refused to change for a few weeks once, so I wouldn't have to do it. We've all been there, my dudes. We've all been there. And you're lying if you're lying if you say you haven't been there, okay? We should take down the creepy masks if we don't want to scare the buyers away. Oh, so now you don't want to scare someone with those masks. Uh are these authentic pretend to be a warrior? What bra bra. Hey. I just put on the mask and huh. This bathroom oh. still smells like Marianne. Why are the grub and we'll be rid of that too? Why why do they interrupt the lines when I walk into a different room? Doesn't make any sense. So I'm just supposed to stand still we every time so I talk. We were so competitive about who measured taller. Like we actually had anything to do with it. And after all that, it ended in a tie. Yeah, none of that crazy stretching I did made any difference. Oh, oh really? Damn, and so I've been doing all those stretches for nothing. Ah, oh, fuck's sake, at least I tried I've to been bury this dress in the backyard, but Marianne caught me. It was a pretty dress. Yeah, well, we both know pretty was never my thing. Mm. What would little Tyler think if he walked in here right now and saw me? He would be, what the fuck? Who are you? Why are you in my house? Get the fuck out of here. What are we going to do with all Well, I'm certainly not going to wear it. Donation pile it is, then. Sell it, donation Handmaid pile. Sell. You could donate jewel. ten years. Jewelry. Impressive. You could say that about the entire house. Wow, I forgot all about her weird concoctions. And how she was always testing them on us. What the fuck? She was testing chemicals on you. Yeah, the, that's not healthy at all. Okay. That's why you do. You you two can talk to each other through your mind. She probably put some some weird stuff in your food. String, Oy. glue, duct tape. The holy trinity of house repair. Marianne loved having something to fix. Why do, why do they call their mother Marianne? Is that a mum? Not when we broke them. I love fixing things. I love, I love fixing things. I love yeah. fixing things too. Header installs, swapping cams. Uh, those are car things, right? No, those are hot rod things. Well, keep up the car talk and you'll fit right in around here. Huh. What was she hoping to do with all these jars? She used to barter for our eyeballs, uh, organs, and everything. She tried no? everything to make ends meet. Well, guess we never had time to complete the collection. Nuts, these came out meat, of one of the prize flex. machines at the Aww, store, flex. right? Look, it's so cute. Yeah, you'd slide the quarters inside on the little tray, and then magic out pops a sticker. Not really magic. But nice try. After all this time, I, I thought I'd feel more prepared. Continue. More prepared for what? Prepare for what? Tell me. 
Let's just check out. Oh, this is, this place is so big. What the hell? Um, this is all. This is all done. I guess we can check out this room. Mary Ann's room. Let's not go in there until we absolutely ah, okay. have to. Agreed. Fuck is this? <laughs> she pinched every penny. Oh, these coupon codes. What? Hey, Mom. We are sorry to visit Brook. We didn't know you love it so much. We need to be careful and not act up in the window room. Next time, we'll try and use good judgment. Oh, judgment. That's so cute for some reason. Please forgive us for doing bad things. I'm sorry, too. We should be more careful. I'm very sad we made you cry so much. We should play outside instead. I will tell Ollie not to be wild all the time. We aren't going to do it anymore, we are sorry. Aww, so cute. They're so cute, what the hell? What are you reading? Old textbooks. Tessa gave them to us, right? The choice! Yeah, she thought we were gifted. We were in a way cool when she came over, do you think so? We were. Yeah, we were, of course. We were. Just not like no. she thought. The old, you think the she old... knew we were sharing answers? We shared for fun. We both knew them all anyway. Ah, I understand. That's that's really useful, actually. Sneaky bastards. I don't remember these. It's probably one of Marianne's unfinished masterpieces. There's two of them. Maybe they were us. Or In for some you. Weird way that only made sense to Marianne. Wow, I'm so embarrassed for us. Minnie Da Vinci's, she took so many pictures. Yeah. Wow, I'm so embarrassed for us. Wow, did you see Minnie that? Minnie Da Vinci's, we were not. She saved every drawing we ever did. There's a couple of these I might keep. She Weird that they call, they call their mother uh, Mary Ann. Now, what else we have here? Oh! Memory! Um, Mom? About me joining the hockey team? Mom! Sorry, what? Uh, not now. Marianne. Maybe next year. But you promised! Keep whining, and my next year will become never. Damn, why, why she gotta be a bitch, though? Can you cut my hair? Your hair is fine. But I want to cut it short, really short. What? Look, I'm tired, and I'm busy. Let's talk about this later. You always say that. Yeah, so, yeah, so... It, it... Marianne said He's no transgender, he is. Okay. Made me so pissed. She was always on edge those last few months. I wasn't I sure how much you I mentioned it in the last episode. Firewood. I miss the cold winter nights curled up here with big mugs of hot cocoa. Yeah, Marianne was so tired she was usually asleep on the couch. Ah, that's why it was so nice. She was trying to save the planet way before Al Gore made it cool. Has Al Gore ever made anything cool? No. Uh, I, I don't know right about anything about politics, but, but really uh, anyone for not listening to wasn't that do the great great it great? Okay, now let's go upstairs, right? Oh, there's no upstairs. The fuck am I... For some reason, I imagined that there, there was gonna be an upstairs. Um, okay, what else is there to check out then? How big of a fire would it take to heat this place up? Uh, that's... Yeah, you're asking the real, the real questions, my dude. That's it, Tyler. What else? Why, is, why are you still looking over here, huh? You got any problems with my drawings, Allison? You want a beef? I must have missed something here. Let me see. This is, there's nothing here. The stickers, the drawer, the bra bra. Ah, I knew there was upstairs. I remember seeing some stairs. I was like, where the fuck are they? Just check over here first. Where'd you come from? 
I was there the whole time. It, it's just a book, okay? It's not a person. You don't need to talk to it. What? What? What's it Where'd called? Where'd you though? come from? Where? The tale of. Okay, it's something about a uh, an animal, anthropomorphic animals. Yo, what are you doing down there? What do you think I'm doing? Trying to figure out if anything in Marianne's mess is worth keeping. Any progress? Not really. What about you? I'm actually you examining stuff. There? Plotting world domination. I'm gonna check out. Come uh, on. you know, just plotting world domination. Ah, oh, that's a big responsibility. Not sure if you can hack it, Ronan. <laughs> oh, ye of little faith. I guess it is about time to check our bedroom. Yeah, can you stop looking for trash? Huh? Come on, hurry up, Elson. Got some stuff to do. Come on, I gotta go to Mickey D's, grab some fries, you know? Here we are. Now this... This feels like home. Hey, the postcard we sent ourselves from Juno. Forever alone. What? We barely had any friends. We even had to yeah. be our own pen pals. Wow. Look how small these beds are. Hey, Allison. They're so little. Yeah. Hey, uh, hey, Allison and Ollie. We are writing from the past. What is it like in the future? Anyway, Juno is super cool. We took the tramway all the way up. Ollie was scared. Liar. We got some books, but mommy went to the restaurant at night and forgot them. It was cool. There were a lot of whales on the ferry. No, there wasn't. No, there Tyler, wasn't. They copy? were in the water. If we don't Stupid. move fast, this whole thing is going to melt. Do you copy? Copy, Allison. Gonna get that? this thing moving soon. Don't want the Mad Hunter to catch us. Over. I was like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Mad Hunter. Oh, he still gives me the creeps. Let me guess, he's real. I wish I could forget about him. Check out the beds. Kent, okay. Whenever we asked for a TV, she'd just bring home a big stack of books. I think she did us a favor with that one. Mm, you may not agree when we start digging into the HBO back catalog. We'll see. Ooh, someone got that HBO cash. Well played, don't not. What the fuck is this supposed to be? A dragon branch. Okay. Wow. Uh, Some of our old toys give me the creeps. I wonder why. That looks beautiful. Just completely natural to me. Look what I found. What? Only our greatest creation. The, the Book, Book of, of Goblins. Goblins. Wow. <gasps> Seriously? It Press was in there just the whole All these stories. I had ideas for so many more. Marianne wrote a lot of them. What yeah. the fuck? It's one of the only times I remember her being at peace. Damn. That's... <sighs> Where is it? That's a lot of you stories. For something in particular? My diary. You never told me about it. Yeah. Oh. With the way Marianne was, I tried extra hard to keep it a secret. Marianne. Yeah, that day she found out about it. Okay. Mom? My diary. What? Mom, where is it? What did you do with it? <sighs> what now? I can't find my diary. I know you stole it. Give it back. Sweetie, whatever I do, it's just for your benefit. You read it, didn't you? The you fuck? had no right to do that. I have the right to do whatever I need to protect my little girl. I'm not your girl. I hate you. You will always be my little girl. And no matter how hard you fight me, I'll fight twice as hard to keep you safe. What the hell? It's like, hmm, I, I think this is gonna be one of those stories where... <laughs> where the mother was actually trying to protect him from something, you know? She probably knew that they had powers. This is just my guess based on my infinite knowledge. She was probably trying to protect them, okay, from something. Probably that Mad Hunter I don't thing. Know how I never saw it coming. She told me right to my face. Yeah, how did you forget about that? She was willing to hurt me, to keep me from transitioning. Ah, uh, yeah. Tyler, there is no way you could have known she'd go that far.
I want my diary back. Her room was the only place I didn't look. Okay, but do you need to get it, like, now? That diary was important to me, Allison. Writing down my thoughts helped me realize who I am. Well, then let's go find it. Damn. You think her room is still locked? So much stuff. Always was. Guys, if you ever have I'm children, really to let them there. do whatever they want, I know. okay? Relax. We'll have to Don't eventually. be so protective. And I need it back. That's really messed up. Ice King finally caught the hag. His furious voice could be heard throughout the forest. For your wickedness, you will be eternally bound to the lake. What? No way. Quiet, let me finish. Aww. You will no longer be allowed to leave. Not even under a full moon. The moon hag was imprisoned in the lake, and she never again tried to escape. Hmm. Hmm. And then the title. What do you think? Not bad, right? Uh, I guess that's okay. But I would have changed the end. What? No way! The Ice King. I totally forgot about him. That's because it was dangerous to mention his name. He was too powerful. Hmm. And it was so fucking powerful, my guy. I never beat him in normal wrestling, you know? Let's go, Marianne. Hold up. What? There's a code. Remember this? There's a puzzle to go Unfortunately. Oh my god, there's a puzzle to go inside the room. You must solve my riddle to earn the right to enter the princess's sanctum. Nothing a good hard shove won't take care of. I mean, yes, we could brute force it, but... It might be kind of fun to finally solve it, right? We have different definitions of the word fun. Okay, well, if we break it, we're just gonna have to fix it for the sale. So let's at least try not to. You have the Book of Goblins? Yep. Hand it over. Okay, let's decipher this. I need your guys' brain energy. Send it to me, come on, send it. What are you looking for? The image on the door. It's Making me think of a story from the book. Ah, one that Mary I was starting to think one of those stories, yeah. Have a way better memory than me. Was gonna be useful. Well, the Book of Goblins was my creation. And you'll never let anyone forget it. Here it is. The one about the princess's party. Give it a read. I think the symbols may represent something in the story. First ghost okay. memories, now storybook puzzles. What a weird day. What a weird childhood. Touche. Okay, let's go. Let's solve it. Book of Goblins, tab. Uh, is this it? Is this the book? Ah. Where's the princess party? The goblins save the day, the big frog, the goblins, the pelican helps her friends, the moonhead, the bear's peak pals, the princess. Wait, what the fuck? Which story is it then? There's so many stories about the princess, I forgot. The princess's party, okay. Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, the princess was melancholy. Because it was the one year university of when she had run away from home, seeing, sensing her sadness, her forest friends showed up at her door. They were headed by the pelican, pious and attentive. Uh, oh, they were headed by and organized by the moose, stalwart and far-sighted. The old bear was there with his claws so sharp, as well as the big frog prattling away. Even the haughty muskrat, who mostly came out at night, came out at night, had come. The bear invited her to ride on his back, promising no wolf would harry her path, and then the animals led her to a fairy, a fairy glen, where a fabulous party had been prepared. There was a buffet of seafood the pelican had served from her never-emptying beak. The air was filled with winking fairy lights the moose had arranged after clouds filled the sky. I was reading like it was a poem, it's not a poem. And the gregarious frog mixed up fizzing drinks, only the muskrat... Had done nothing particular. 
we like games. Guess who has given you each of these presents, and you'll get your friends back. Okay, three identical boxes at the edge of the glen. Because you have taken your friends for granted, we have hidden them from you. But but we like games. The priest has opened the first box, a torch, which, when lit, revealed the truth. Someone wants to make sure I don't, I don't get lost in the woods when it's dark. Which of my friends will give me a gift like that? She opened the second box, a magic sword. Hmm, someone wants to make sure I'm protected if I'm ever under threat. Who would give me a friend? Which of my friends will give me a gift like that? Third box, a bag of shit. A bag of shit, man, of course. A bag of coins. Uh, money. If it was some for something the bearer truly needed. Someone wants to make sure I have money to buy food when I'm hungry. And what? <laughs> Which of my friends will give me a gift like that? The princess thought about her friends and then she smiled certainly. Fairies, she said. I may have been thoughtless, but I appreciate all that my friends have given to me and all that they have done for me. She gave her answers. And the vexed fairies were forced to restore the party in a flash of colorful light. One by one, she gave the animals a hug and thanked them for presents, the party, and all they had done to help since she... Okay. Uh, what the fuck am I supposed to re grill? Oh, okay, 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 I understand. It's animals, okay. So, let's see then. The first gift was... The first box, a torch. Now we have to check out the story here. The old bear. The muskrat. Yeah, it's the muskrat. The muskrat is, is first. Is this the muskrat? Right, it is the muskrat. Okay. Now, second one. Uh, the second box was a magic sword, and the third box was coins. So let's go back and, and read. Um, they were headed by the pelican, pious and attentive, organized by the moose, stalwart and far-sighted. The old bear... I think the bear gave her the... The bear invited her to ride on his back, promising no wolf would harry her path. The wolf is a sword. The animals led to a fairy grand, it was okay, there was a buffet, the pelican had served. The pelican, okay, it's the pelican. So, it's the bear and the pelican. I think so. No, it's not, I'm wrong. Are you sure you're gonna be able to crack it? Oh, damn. I need more time. I just started. Give me some time. All right. But I'm here when you're ready to admit defeat. You're ready? Oh, so you know the answer, bitch. Is that what you're telling me? Wait, let me let me check this shit. Okay. Okay. Second boss. Second box. A magic sword. Someone's to make sure I'm protected. That's the bear. That has to be the bear. She opened the third box. A bag of coins. So it must not be the pelican. It must be the last one. Uh, the air was filled with winking fairy lights. Only the muskrat had done nothing in particular, mooching off everyone's hard work. So the first one is not the 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 right, the muskrat. Well, which was the first gift? Was the um, the torch? Okay. Probably the moose. Yeah, it's probably the moose. Let me see. I'll try the be the frog in the end, if it's not the frog. The pelican was pious and attentive. If as well the big frog blab prattling away. So it's either the bear, the bear, the moose and the pelican we were the only ones that did something. So, let's see. I'm thinking the sword is the bear. The first one, the muskrat didn't do anything. So, probably the moose. The, yeah, it has to be the moose. Oh, 
Ooh yeah. Ooh yeah. Ooh yeah. Ooh. Ow, my glasses. Damn. And boom. We're in. That's a cool room, not gonna lie, okay? I wish I had After one so of those lights. Years, I expected this to feel more... Special. You know, like a win. You Speak expected a dove, instead you got a nail. The one who solved the riddle. Why do I feel like you're not gonna let me forget that? The dove, we got the... The dove, yeah, the... The, the, the dove, okay. Where do you think we should start looking? I don't know. Where in this mess would she stash someone else's personal thoughts? Okay, and this is gonna be it. Let me let let the game save. Yeah. This is gonna be it for today. Why did I pause it? There's no need. Uh thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. It, it was fun. I'm not gonna say amazing because it's the beginning of the game. But I enjoy it. Hey, yeah, Allison. So she was standing. Shut up, Allison. Uh, hope you enjoyed the game. It, it it was really fun. Thank you for joining me for these thirty minutes. For you, for the guys who, for you, for for those of you who did. Okay. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like down below to support the channel. Thank you so much if you did. Okay, it helps me a lot. Uh, comment down below. Do you have something to say about the story? Any details that I missed? Something? Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up with this series and others. There's a lot of series to come. Uh, last but not least the bell press that little that bell thing you know so you don't miss another video and hope you stay safe wherever you are good morning good afternoon good night and i hope you stay safe again and i'll see you in the next episode Bye bye